Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to the wonderful world of Valachia, where we are poised to declare war on Ragusa and Transylvania to get some wonderful, juicy land over here. Ragusa, I think, is the war we want to declare right now, because currently the Ottomans are warning us that they will join against us if we declare on Ragusa. From Ragusa, we can give some lands back to our vassal Bosnia, who has cores all the way to the coast. And that's pretty much all I want to do, is get that land for my vassal. From the Ottomans, I would like to make him release Bulgaria. Because that would be a huge portion of his, of his tax base here. That's 8, 11, 13, 17, 20 base tax. Just release 20 base tax. Uh, could take one province for myself. I have a claim on Solister. Or, we could potentially take uh, this province, which is Serbia's capital. That's possible. Hmm. It's not super necessary, though. Anyway, why don't we just go ahead and get my diplomat back. And let's declare the war. Poland wants to do it. Lithuania is his little puppet, so he's going to join. And together, they really do outnumber the Ottomans heavily. So let's unpause and go. Am I funding my army? Marriage from Bosnia. Get out of here. Am I funding my army? I am. Okay. We're not funding our missionary, but we're not using a missionary, so that's okay. 722 ducats, that's a little off. At the end of the month, that'll fix itself. Alright, so what does the world say if we declare war? Yeah, Poland wants in. Austria does not want in, but you know what? Wow, he's actually really close to wanting in the war. I wonder if we can get him to the point of... I mean, we're at plus 200 relations. There's nothing I can really do to get him in the war right now. But maybe during the war he'll want in. We'll see. So I'm going to go for Reconquest, I think. If I do that, what's the point? It's less aggressive expansion and less cost. So it's cheaper to take land from him. Mm, yeah, let's do that. So Reconquest, what's the highest base tax? Bosnia. Let's do it. Poland's going to come in and help, and we're just going to go cry and hide and um, oh, get a statesman. You think that'll do it? Uh, the only statesman available is 76 ducats. But you're right, that might be enough to do it. Hmm. That is a good point. Is that worth taking some loans? It probably is. Yeah. Uh, how much does it cost? 76 ducats. And we only need to keep them for one month. Alright. Okay. Now what do you say, Austria? There we go. Hey, that's a great idea. Man, Twitch chat coming through. Look at that. All right, slow down time. And I'm going to go hide in Krakow. All right, fantastic. So Austria and Poland are going to fight the Ottomans for me. That is beautiful. I don't even know what to say. That is that is just beyond beautiful. And we got to remember to fire this guy at the end of the month. So the plans here are probably just to release Bulgaria, but that could change as the war progresses. Actually, how much would it cost to release Bulgaria anyway? 100% war score. Okay, that may not happen. Maybe we'll just take some land instead. Because he's not a co-belligerent, so everything costs twice as much. Alright, what do I want to do with my diplomats here? Let's just increase relations with, with our buddies here. 11th November. There's that 333 Ottoman general. So 
So we have seven loans. It's going to cost us about 90 ducats to repay them all. Something like that. And Lithuania is getting attacked. He has no general on defense. Hopefully he'll figure out a way to defend. But it looks like he's just going to get wrecked. Yeah. Get wrecked, Lithuania. Welcome to the AI being stupid. He just got crushed. He just got crushed, and the Ottomans barely lost anyone. Can you guys stop being stupid? I'm going to put my check mark on. We took another loan. Uh-oh. Are you fucking kidding me? My allies abandoned me the day before we arrived. I don't even know what to say here. It says our army was arriving on the 25th of, of February. And my army arrived, and his army never came. I mean, it's... They were all going to come on the same day, and then it all changed. So now I'm fighting alone. That's fucked up. There we go. Now they're coming. Alright, finish the battle. Thank you. Austria is attacking 6 versus 16 over here. That's smart. I mean, seriously, wh where did the AI get so stupid all of a sudden? Why are you attacking 6 versus six 16 when you have tons of troops nearby? And now he's attacking 10 versus 16. He has more troops nearby, he's just not using them. I don't get it. France declared war on England. Oh, that sounds fun. Venice joined the war against France. Oh, Venice is going to get wrecked. You know what? This would be a good time to go to war with Venice because Austria can't join against us and he's not in the Empire, so I can do it. Right? Yeah. The only one who would join against me is the Knights. I should definitely do that, because I can core this right now and join the Empire. Although I think I can only do it if I'm at peace. Is that right? And it doesn't say. But I bet I bet if I took it over and cored it, it would still say I have to be at peace. Not sure, though. Alright, looks like the um, Transylvanians are going to get full NX here. That sucks. I wanted to go to war with them right now, but I really just can't. I gotta stop taking these loans. Holy crap, the Ottomans lost a battle. Finally.
<clears throat> we have a free diplomat. I should be using it. I guess I should fabricate on Hungary a little bit. Oh, I already did. Um, Alright, I can't really do anything else then. Yeah, I don't really want to do too much in this war because I need to get my manpower back and I need to get my money back. The more I fight, the less money I'll have. Oh, what's this? Less revolt risk. It would be nice, but I think at this point I need my admin points. In case we take any land, we're going to have to core stuff. So I'll need my admin points. Now hopefully they'll be able to take care of these rebels for me. I really don't want to fight them. There you go. Constantinople's going to get siege now. Nice. And yeah, Lithuania's taking care of my rebels. Good. Do I think the achievement is possible? Of course it is. I wouldn't be playing if I thought it was impossible. Yeah, that's right. Kill my rebels, Moldavia. Good boy. Good boy. Complaints about the bailiff. Lose stability or prestige. Well, either way, we're fucked. I really don't want to lose stability. What's it cost to raise stability? 191. Ooh. That's a lot. I'll just lose the prestige. Goodness. That sucks, though. Everyone's voting Austria for Emperor, that's fine with me. Bosnia has high liberty desire. Lol. Okay. 50%. I wish I could have called the Ottomans in as a co-belligerent, but Austria wouldn't have joined then because Austria has a truce with the Ottomans. And we would have had to fight Crimea as well, which I guess is not the end of the world. Crimea, Tunis, oh, and the Golden Horde. Yeah, that might have been a little too much to fight. We'll eventually be able to call them in as co-belligerents, or we can just declare on them directly at some point. But now is not the time. Not making any siege progress, that sucks. We'll get there. Okay, so Hungary just vassalized Transylvania. That's unfortunate, but whatever. I couldn't really do much about that. Hungary allied Saxony. Yeah, I need Hungary to get some shitty ally somewhere. Saxony's not really the one. Hungary has rivaled Bohemia. Okay. And Aragon. I don't know why he rivals Aragon. That's silly. I 
I'm really tempted just to go ahead and take this. Hey, we're almost tech five. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll take it. Bawo! Welcome back, man. There we go. Tech 5, I love it. We can now do better soldiers. Eastern Militia. So the difference in soldiers here is actually pretty immense. We went from 2 pip soldiers to 4 pip soldiers. That's a big deal. Alright, repay a loan. Take a Greek province and release Byzantium? Yeah, we could do that. That's a good point, actually. The problem is, if I do that, all my vassals are going to have really high liberty desire. But that is a really good idea. For instance, if I take Silistra for myself, and Kirkulesi for myself, I can then take Edirne and release Byzantium there. That is a great idea. I need all of those lands anyway, I might as well have them as a vassal. The only problem is it's all really good base tax. And I fear if I take that land that I won't be able to join the Empire because of the base tax. You know what? Maybe joining the Empire isn't that important. I mean, I kind of see it as a really cool thing because you get 10% cheaper tax and stuff like that. But maybe it's not the most important thing ever. Whatever, we got chased off by a, a two stack. We'll go lick our wounds somewhere. No big deal. Retreating all the way to Vienna. Okay. Oh, Brandenburg is beating up Bohemia. What is this about? The Magdeburg Conquest of Potsdam. So Magdeburg has declared on Brandenburg. And he's fighting... Po oh shit, Poland's fighting over here. Are you kidding me? Poland's fighting Bohemia. So Poland's distracted, but it, it doesn't seem like he's being unhelpful. He's still useful. Maybe just not as much as he could be. Hey, the Mamluks have declared on the Ottomans. I love it. The Empire sucks. No, the Empire does not suck. You get some nice benefits for being in the Empire. At least early on. While there's still 25 electors, you get nice benefits. When it drops below 25 electors, it's questionable whether it's worth staying. I guess I'll go and siege this since no one else will. And... Yeah, I gotta stop funding my army. Alright, I gotta look that up. What was it? Mm 
Bawo says, soon I will have my one year virginity lost to you. Uh, okay, Bawo. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Yeah, Venice is getting wrecked. So this is probably a good time to declare on him. Alright, here's my bid to join the Empire. If I can take Dalmatia and Korit... Oh shit, Genoa's gonna join. Or whatever. If I can take Dalmatia and Korit, I should be able to join the Empire. But, I don't know if I can. So we'll, we'll see. <clears throat> I just don't know if I can. Subsidies from Aragon. Hey, thanks, Aragon. That's some good money from Aragon. A couple ducats a month. I like it. I guess he hates Venice. Yeah, he does. He does hate Venice quite a bit. Alright, if that's the case, I can full fund my army and repay my loans. Maybe. No, I think I can. Once they've replenished. When are the loans coming due? Two years. Alright. Oh shit, France just peaced Venice out. Uh oh. England is the Pope, alright. Oh yeah, now that I'm Catholic, I should probably get relations up with the Pope. Probably. How goes everyone's enthusiasm? Hmm, Austria isn't medium, that's not good. Austria will want out soon. But not yet. He's going to siege Constantinople first, which is great. Okay, maybe declaring on Venice was a bad idea. I didn't, I didn't realize he had 10,000 troops here. I thought France had destroyed his army. I was wrong. France has not destroyed his army. Alright, I'm going to put my, troop, my vassals on group up mode. I'm going to put my check mark on. We're going to go kill Venice somehow. Twelve thousand, thirteen thousand troops now. Fuck me. Well, what do we have? We have ten, twelve K. He's up to, yeah, thirteen. Same tech. Might be able to beat him. If I go Siege Dalmatia, we'll have Ticking War Score. Maybe that's the plan. Just get the Ticking War Score. Ottomans are at low enthusiasm. He'll probably peace out soon. Oh shit, Genoa's coming over with a 4-3 general. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can really do that.
That was a foolish war deck. I should have known that France would piece him out, like, right away. Twelve thousand guys. All right. No, not getting greedy. It's simply a matter of timing. I needed to declare war on Venice while we were allied with Austria in another war, because Venice is Austria's ally. And Venice was getting beaten up in another war, and a lot of his allies would not join, like England wouldn't join against us. So that was a good time to declare on Venice. The problem is Venice pieced out France right away. Like two months later, he pieced out France, which means now we're fighting Venice and he's at full strength instead of weak. So no, it's not getting greedy. It's proper timing, some bad luck. What's our best general? 4-4. Four, four. Let's take him out. He's a tech ahead of us. That sucks. Why is my stupid 3-1 vassal general t leading the siege, leading the battle, instead of my 4-4 vassal general? What the fuck, game? Bosnia has a 4-4 general, and he was in the fight, but he wasn't leading the battle. A 4-4-2-2. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. A 4-4-2-2, and instead it uses the 3-1. What? What's the point of having a 4422 if he doesn't lead the lead the lead the battle? Okay, our chances of winning against Venice are pretty bad right now. No, he's not dead. He's right there. Right there. 4422. No, it's not the ruler. His ruler is Duke Tomislav Rubido, and the general that took over was Mihajo Horvat. It's not a ruler. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can just peace out real quick. There's no way I can win that, I don't think. Well, maybe if I siege the high base tax stuff? Maybe. Three loans to go. Keep keep giving me subsidies, Aragon. You're the best. If we can get some sieges knocked out here, we'll be okay. I'm really concerned about this freaking stack over here, though. Is there a river crossing to Gores? No. So if Venice comes and attacks us, he won't be crossing a river. That sucks.
But you know what? We're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time, where we will probably be piecing out of the first war against Ragusa. And we'll see about what we're going to do with Venice. I have no idea. We'll figure out Venice next time. All right. Have a good day.